Hello Mech Warriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of Mech Warrior Online. Today it is time to play the Grasshopper. I wanted to play something with extended range large lasers and the Grasshopper 5H is absolutely fantastic for it because it has some interesting quirks. We are quickly going to the store because I can show you uh, very well here. So let's go to Mr. Grasshopper, the good old 5H. The cool thing about the mech is that it has not only a lot of energy hard points, and I will talk about that in a second a bit more, but it also has a negative 10% energy heat quirk and a little bit of armor quirk. So the mech is sturdy, it has high hard points, and again, the 10% energy heat is fantastic for the job that we are about to do today. Now, as you can see, we are running a light engine 300, that brings us to 69, nice KPH. It's a, it's a very good amount of speed for, you know, repositioning, getting into position in the first place, and then uh, if you're getting... Um, I would say if you're getting pushed in your sniper spot, then you can go and go to your friends easily. Uh, the most important part is probably the five ER large lasers that we are firing here. And yes, I know we have the ghost heat. We cannot fire more than three large lasers without generating extra heat. So we are doing it uh, in a pattern of three at a time and then follow it by another two. So that's kind of like three, two, three, two. That's how we do it. Going with the three first because we want to have a direct impact on our enemies as quickly as possible. And... Um, that's the idea here. We also have room for a single jump jet for a little bit of extra mobility. So in case you want to get over an obstacle, you can hit the space bar and just fly. I mean, crawl over it. Uh, the rest of it, heat management. We just have a bunch of heat sinks, which gives us a heat management of 1.33, which is okay. So we, we, have, we have to take some pauses, some breaks in between the shots. But sometimes it's necessary since enemies will, will trace the fire back to you because the laser beams really uh, expose your position. And then they will probably push you and you have to reposition anyway. So those breaks are going to be natural. And um, I think it's a, it's a good amount of heat management that we got here. By the way, if you want to see a game where I am uncontested, watch the second one. I have the perfect spot on that map and it was just so great shooting all the lasers like all the time. Now, let's take a look at the skills before we get into the games. As you can see, we are going down the firepower tree like that, left and right arm, grabbing those sweet heat gen nodes so that our mech is colder, we can fire more often and a bit of more cooldown and extra range, which is actually helpful. As well as some laser duration nodes. I want to expose myself as little as possible. Therefore, the shorter the laser duration, the quicker I can go back to my cover after I'm shooting, waiting for my cooldown to cycle, then get back out again and repeat the whole process. We also take a bit of extra armor because I want it to be, uh, you know, as safe as possible. Again, the enemies will probably trace you back and at some point will probably push you or uh, just shoot you back getting some snapshots. This is just nice to have. Um, the more important part of the build is operations, get all the cool run parts and all the heat containment skills as possible because uh, that's a that's a good English sentence I just realized. Get all of them as possible. As many of them, like all of them. You know what I mean. Because, you know, we are hot boy and hot boy needs to get cooled. We also got radar deprivation for breaking locks quickly when you are going back to cover after you have shots and uh, enemies will hopefully lose interest in you when they cannot target you anymore. So that's very important. And we also got two cool shots as well as a UAV to cool the make even further. That's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, tell YouTube that you like me, subscribe to the channel for more of this, and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing the Solaris City. We are playing... Oh my god, that's loud in my ears. I need to tune that down a little bit. Alright, so uh, we're playing Solaris City. We are playing Domination. And it seems like everybody is going to the center. I mean, that's always the case, right? Everybody's rushing to the center to get into the fight. That's what we are here for. We want to see Max explode. So let's go to Echo 4. Seems like our assaulties are going more to a straightforward Echo, Echo line there. So therefore, I want to go with them. Also, I completely, completely messed up. I wanted to stay on top, but there will be another chance to get up there because this ramp will come down here and then we can go up again. So no big deal here. In general, I want to be on top because I want to have a good overview of the battlefield. Ideally, I will also have ECM coming from a friend of mine like this kid fox so that the enemies cannot target me in return. And then we're going to get one alpha strike or two out and then drop probably down back to cover. That is... What? All right, we have an... We have a fight going on already? I'm absolutely in. Let's go! Where are they? There's a guy up top. I see him. It's hard to actually attack him right now. I see legs. That I couldn't hit? That's weird. That is so weird. Alright, let's try again. Where are you, buddy? I see you. You are big. And I got range, so I'm gonna trade with you. It's kind of, kind of weird doing that. 
Yeah, all right, let's get out of here. Because my people are going to the left. But the cool thing is we attracted some fire to the right, which means if we go to the left and switch flanks now, we might find uh, some people that are not supported by the rest of the team trying to keep the right side intact here. All right, so we have the high ground. Um, there is no ECM that I was looking for. But we got a bit of shots out against an ice ferret. Okay, here he comes. Probably gonna peek around. Uh, we hit him a little bit, but that is about it. Correct? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There might be more. There is more. I see a crab of the king size. Right. So, mm, that's bad. Hello, Mr. Waka. We're gonna drop down. I was the one on top, and he took me. Was it even a Waka? I don't know. It was some rocks, anyway. All right, so Mr. King Crab is now is now here, right in front of us. It's not a King Crab, it's a Timber Wolf, actually. I want to stay here. Uh, dude, you are not quite in cover. I see you, still. Uh, somebody's dropping, Assault Max are pushing forward. Yeah, I'm eating that. Cool, Hada Moto Chi. I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna pop a UAV, never mind. I was thinking about it, but then I decided against it. I need to go somewhere where my friends are, because right now I'm holding that line. And I'm kind of the only one in that center position. Uh, people are moving around us, that's a problem. And that's the rock walker that we saw earlier. Mm. Alright, moving, moving, moving. I need to get... I don't want to run away, but I need to get some kind of cover here. Okay. Got some damage in. It's an executioner with PPCs. My legs don't look great anymore, honestly. Some more damage on the walker, but we are on the heavy pressure here. Alright, let's see is clear. There's another guy. Ah, I don't want to hit my friend. I did it anyway. A Warhammer? That's a problem. They, they have so much pressure on us here. Uh, the Executioner might be a problem because he's fast. He can just pop, shoot his PPCs and get back to cover. I have to use my laser beams for a long period of time. Alright. I got hit. I don't want to hold it forever. Especially since these guys are putting multiple angles on us now. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, don't leave my leave my leg alone. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're going for it. So, what what's the deal here? I mean, we're winning the fight on the other side of the battlefield against uh, the other dudes there. Is that my leg down? It's my leg down. Oh my god. So we are basically immobile. And we cannot really see much. I mean, that's a thing. It's definitely a thing that we can try to hit. Right now, it's again just random damage against random enemies. Guy up top, guy up bottom. Try to not get hit, but again, with the slow mobility that we have here, it's nothing that we can do. We need the guys on the center to help us out here, definitely. Uh, he's gonna stay. I'm gonna stay as well then. Good, 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 good. The executioner is all in. Let's make a counter push. We are seven and three. I don't care anymore. Let's do it. People are moving in. I'm moving in. That's great. Warhammer is coming. He has a king crab. No, oh, I don't want any of that. Thank you. All right, going over here. Get the Warhammer. Or try at the very least. Uh, now a Jäger mech? Sure. In general, this is kind of working out, although I'm probably going to die here, but that's fine. Center on the Jäger. This guy is kind of fresh-ish. But they are trying to move and trying to run away. That's... Uh, that's okay. Almost got the Jäger, 10 and 4. Got some leg damage in as well. He's going down and then the King Crab is the last dude. Holy crap, my mech is not in a good spot. But we soaked up damage like a boss here. Holy crap. I didn't think we would live through this, honestly. That was that was so crazy. But let's take a look. Um, in, a, in a very tight spot like that, I didn't think we got over 500. Maybe we got 500 damage out here. Actually, 676? I thought because of the very structured and cluttered uh, situation that we had here, we didn't even shoot that often, but obviously we did. Not bad at all. Sadly, didn't get a killing blow, but we had 10 assists and we soaked oh, up 445. Oh, yeah. Got one KMDD as well as, yeah, that. That was the first game, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game. Oh, ow, that, that hurt. That was 3% of my everything. Oh my god. Uh, somebody tapped in by clicking the left mouse button. Oh, it hurts so much. Anyway, so what are we doing here, guys? Do we go to the island? Do we do a snipey snipe? I I don't know. We will see about it. We could also go to the high ground. Uh, I'm gonna be alone probably on the island. Or are we? There's a shadow cat. You know what? We're gonna go with the cat. And we're gonna try to do the snipe stuff with our large lasers. 
Again, uh, being shot in the back that early on is not really great. It doesn't really help. And uh, I really hope Shadow Cat is not going all the way away because I want to actually go with him. I want to capitalize on his ECM. Uh, oh, we, we have ECM. Nice. We got a Hellbringer here. That's great. So we got three island snipers, me included. We have a bunch of other guys going to the other side of the battlefield. And we're just gonna shoot everybody that we can see. Hopefully. We'll see. Attracting early fire uh, and early aggro is probably not great. Ideally, I want my enemies to grind into our front line before we do anything. Right? Mm, I'm not sure if I should do it. But I'll do it. Alright. We hit him. We hit him once. That's a Jaguar. Probably go for that guy. Okay, Jaguar is getting hit. I mean, it's a target that I can actually target. Uh, and they seem to not have anything against us here. That's beautiful. Oh man, we can just drop so much damage on them before they even get into the real fight. That is a... what? Oh, that's amazing. And that is how we apply dominance over the center of the map. That is pretty good, actually. Hello. I'm not here. <laughs> Alright, I'm so happy that we got that Hellbringer with us that actually provides ECM for us as well. This is so good. In the meantime, our friends can actually advance kind of perfectly. I don't see anybody. Where are they? I'm also not having any ECM anymore. Um, I mean, they got Theta. That's fine-ish. But they probably don't want to peek out here anymore. Which is fine for us. Oh, look at that guy. Okay. Alright, we dealt some damage. They're trying to cross, which is okay. Absolutely okay. Where is the guy going? Oh, there he is. Alright. I didn't see him. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So, um, yeah, they have shifted completely into the city. I'm gonna shift around again. My Hellbringer friends is at a 100% currently. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna shoot that. It's a knight here who's already getting damaged. Quite a lot, actually. Yeah, you don't want to cross here. I think we got him. This is a kill. This is 100% a kill. Um, if my friend keeps shooting, we should get him. This is definitely gonna be a cool shot scenario. Where we just want to shoot him as much as possible until he dies. Another guy coming up. Um, he's there. Hi. You just need to trace back the lasers. Oh, they hit me. But that's okay, you know what? Th we didn't get the night here. It's fine. I thought it was a kill. It wasn't. But, uh, we have attracted a lot more fire, so our friends in the center can actually do things, hopefully. There's a guy. Wait, what? Stand still! Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Alright, there's a guy. They are fast moving. It's really hard to assess what they are, actually. So, there's a big fight going on there. There's a guy still. Got a guy there. Again, we're just delivering support fire in the general direction of our enemies. Uh, get the awesome as well. Hello. I mean, maybe we get some kills here. That's pretty good. Uh, these people are in the tunnel, all right, so we don't care about them so much. Gotta sh make sure that I'm not not wasting that much heat here because those guys in the, f uh, in the city, if they just decided to push over to us, they would probably get us, honestly. Alright, there's a Timby. Now, oh, maybe we are getting tiny bits of damage. This should be fine. The advance through the tunnel is actually bad. Also, artillery. Um, because my friends will take a long time to actually get out of there again. And uh, in the meantime, we are very vulnerable here. We as the three on the island. So where's the knight here? There it is. Try to hit that side torso. Hey, we got him. Nice. I got ya. I mean, I'm at optimal range here. Oh, almost optimal. I am at my 800 plus a little bit. Still there, buddy? Still there? Alright, so we're gonna make a push forward. Slightly. Alright, I'll take this Timber Wolf. How are we gonna move now? Alright, I'm gonna help out my friends. It might be a bad idea. Because I don't think that those guys are gonna do anything anymore. We are 4 and 1. It's time to actually group up and, and do something about it. My Hellbringer is coming, Shadowcat is coming, uh, 600 meters Timber Wolf. I mean, they are here, right? Yeah, they are right there. I'm gonna engage the Timber, I think we can do it. With the friends, with a little bit of help of my friends, maybe. That's a guy that we can shoot. I mean, I'm in the open right now, which is not optimal. 
I'm gonna stay in motion though. And uh, I just try to group up with the big guys. With the big guys to the right side here. Oh, wait, there's a timber right in front of us. No, it's not a timber, it's a cicada. Anyway, we're gonna go for it. Again, just reinforcing. These guys should be so softened up already. Hi. Twist. No? I mean, we are in a little bit of a pickle here. Hi, Cicada. What about you? Where's everybody? Um, those guys were not coming out of their hidey hole. Not yet. UAV? 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 I pressed the button, nothing's coming. Hello? There we go. Alright, we got the UAV going. That's great. Here comes the cavalry as well. Try to hit the Cicada as much as possible. Hi. You are a very slow cicada there. And you're already... I wanted to say he's already so damaged, but he's not really. The damage that we are doing is so splashy. Oh, crap. Oh, crappity crap. Where was that coming from? From you? Maybe? I don't know. Problem is we have no, uh, very little heat management now. Anyway, we are 7 and 4. I mean, it should be technically in the bag. Let's see. Baphne is pushing. I'm gonna push with the big dudes now. Um, and I think there's uh, still stuff happening over there. There's a Timba. I think there was an awesome still. I don't know if he's dead already. All right. All right. So he's getting shot by uh, a rock thingy. Or some auto cannons. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Do we throw our mech into the fight now? I think this is over. I am pretty sure we won the video game. So let's go ahead and um, try to find some more damage points that we can apply. There's a guy here. Oh, he got a kill. Uh, I mean, I'm also kind of a one-shot. There. there they are. Guys on the right as well. Alright, I'm gonna wait for the timber. Oh, there it is. There it is. A blood what? Blood adder? Come on! Haha, <laughs> he got me. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I didn't need to... I didn't need to save my mech? Did I? I mean, I dealt a thousand damage. That's crazy. Um... I don't know, we are 9 and 7. I'm pretty sure that we win this now. Again, I hope that my assessment is not wrong. We will see. There is the Blood Adder running a bunch of AC2s. Ah, he's getting obliterated now. No weapons anymore, so he's out of the game. So it's technically 10 and 8. Go for the Kid Fox. Ah, oh, yes, beautiful. The laser vomit coming in. And one shot on the Kid. Oh, maybe. Maybe another shot on the Kid Fox. Now you got a perfect angle. There we go. 10 and 8. Let's see what else we got. There is a uh, medium mech over there. Let me go over here and see what it is. It's actually a heavy. It's a timber wolf. It's the timber wolf from earlier. I cannot believe that he was still alive there. Crazy. Slapney has 27 shots. Still in a good condition. Good-ish. And that's our last enemy with no weapons. We won. It was a little bit close. But it was a crazy game. I loved every single part about it. That was pretty good. All right. By the way, the Fafnir. Um, did he have weapons still? He seemed to not have. Ah. All right. He's, he wanted to save his mag. He was kind of twisting very passively, not really shooting him back, seemingly. But all right, we did it. We got four KMDDs here with 1,078 damage. We took 517 completely uncontested the whole game until we actually engaged and uh, got a lot of shots in our face. But yeah, that's the Sniper Grasshopper, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.